Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we are talking about multiplying decimals by the whole number. So for question number one, we have here four multiplied by 0 0.83. How we can multiply them? If you need to multiply at the first, just we are multiplying, suppose that there is no decimal number. So we have here 83 multiplied by four. Just we write 83, and that's multiplied by four. But that's not 83, it's 0 0.83. The difference between them that we have a decimal point after two digits. I will start counting from the right to the left. We have two digits. It's mean we have here two decimal place. For the fourth, there is no decimal place. It's mean we will write the decimal point after two places from that. Now four times three equals one. Two and carry up one. Four times eight equals thirty-two. Plus one equals thirty-three. Now by counting two digits from the right. 1, 2, then we put the decimal point. So the product now will be equals 3.32. Again for number 2. 4 times 0 0.95. So at the first, I will just write 95 times 4. Now for the first number, we have a decimal point after two places. If you start counting from the right, 1, 2, it means the decimal point after two places. There is no decimal point to 4, it's mean. I'll just write the decimal point after two places from that. Now we have here 4 times 5 equals 220. 0 and carry up 2. 4 times 9 equals 36 plus 2 equals 38. Now we just count from the right two places, so it will be 3.8. So the product now will be equal 3.8 or 3.8. In question number 3, we have 3 times 14.2. We have here the first number is 142, and the second number we need to multiply it by 3. The first number, if you start counting from the right, only one digit at the right of the decimal. There is no decimal here. It's me now. Just write the decimal point after one digit from the product. So we have here 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times 4 equals 212. 2 and carry up 1. 3 times 1 equals 3, plus 1 equals 4. Now by counting one digit from the right, which is 6, so the product now will be equals 42.6. In question number 11, we have 11 times 0 0.045. So for the first number, which is 45, I'll just write it without any decimal point. Multiply it by 11. Now for the first number, if you start counting from the right, we have 1, 2, 3. It's mean we have a decimal point after 3 digits. There is no decimal point here. I will put the decimal after three digits from the product. So we have here 1 times 45 equals 45. Then put 0. 1 times 45 equals 45. Now by adding. Just write 5. 4 and 5 equals 9. And write 4. We have here the decimal after three places. So we start counting 1, 2, 3 and put the decimal point. So the product now will be equal 0 0.495. In question number 15, by the same way, we have 0 0.065 times 18. So it will be equals 65 multiplied by 18. If you look at the first number, we have three digits at the right of the decimal. And there is no decimal here. So we have here the decimal after three digits. 8 times 5 equals 4. 0 and carry up 4. 8 times 6 equals 48. Plus 4 equals 52. And now both 0. So 1 times 5 equals 5, and 1 times 6 equals 6, by adding the two numbers. 0 and 0 equals 0, 5 and 2 equals 7, 5 and 6 equals 11. So put the decimal point after three places. So the product now will be equals 1.107. And that's how we can multiply the decimal by the whole number. 